Hello, this is Alan Charles, Principal of Lincoln Elementary. Just want to give you an update. Uh, it's been really busy since we came back after Christmas break. Teachers came back on January 2nd. Uh, students came back on January 3rd after Christmas break. Uh, it's been a busy week for school board members. Uh, they'll be interviewing candidates for a new superintendent position and we certainly appreciate all the effort that our school board puts in and the time they put in and I know that's really an important decision so we really appreciate the time and effort they put into looking at that new leader that we'll have in our district. Our teachers have a professional day on the 21st of January coming up. Uh, you might wonder what we do on those days that students aren't in school. On the 21st of January, our teachers at the elementary level will be working on, again, their journeys reading series, which we adopted this year. We have a reading coach coming in for the company. Uh, they come in and work with our teachers. They'll be doing that in the morning on the 21st and in the afternoon on the 21st. They'll be uh, working on math curriculum we're looking at adopting for next year. We're going through different series and looking at that process as well. So teachers will be in meetings most of the day on the 21st here at school. Also on the 24th of January, we have some fifth grade boys going to Real Men Sing, which is a, <clears throat> they'll be going to Lindsborg to Bethany College and they'll be getting some instruction and practice in the morning and then they will have a concert in the afternoon which parents and public are invited to attend and that's a great experience for our fifth grade boys and getting some instruction in, in some vocal music and uh, most of the students have gone in past years have really enjoyed that experience so thank Deborah Lewis for setting all that up and our fifth grade students will be doing that on the 24th that's fifth grade boys. We do have a D.A.R.E. culmination. That's the end of our fifth grade D.A.R.E. Uh, lessons that they've covered. Uh, we have three great instructors, Officer Billinger and Mr. Pa Patzner and Mr. Smith who come from the Barton County Sheriff's Department and they have done a great job with our kids and they've been doing it for many years and <clears throat> this is kind of the graduation or the culmination on February 4th at 1.30 and parents are invited to attend and they'll be getting invitations to attend. Grandparents are welcome to come as well or friends or family. So that'll be something we look forward to on the 4th of February at 1.30 in the afternoon here in our Lincoln Gym. We do have <coughs> fourth and fifth grade music concert we were supposed to have on the 7th of February but that will be canceled at this point in time due to the health of our music instructor and so we will not be having that uh, that's just fourth and fifth grade students here at Lincoln, so there will be no concert on February 7th, even though that was on the calendar. On 13th of February, uh, we will not be in school again. Uh, high school and middle school will have a K's uh, regional meeting, and so those buildings will both be uh, in use all day for that meeting. Uh, we do have Teachers will be working again on math curriculum here at Lincoln and Roosevelt together in the morning and then the afternoon we have a motivational speaker that will be coming in and talking to all the teachers in the afternoon so that will be what we're doing on February 13th. On the 18th we will not be in school again uh, but that is already set up. We will be attending a Ruby Payne conference and that will be at Lyons, and numerous school districts will be attending that. Our teaching staff will be traveling, traveling to Lyons on that day. Uh, we are all reading her book called Emotional Poverty, which talks about some of the trauma that our students go through, uh, some of the things they're dealing with in their own lives, and so we've been working on that, and our, our teachers are doing a book study on that right now, and then we will actually hear her speak on the 18th of February, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we do again ask all of our parents and uh, when you drop off your students in the morning and pick them up at the end of the day that you slow down a little bit when we're out here especially when we have all the ice and snow we don't want anybody to have any issues out there so just slow down a little bit because we've had some winter weather and we probably have some more coming up in the future so slow down that way our kids get to school and home safely so we appreciate if you would do that. Thank you.